What is up, everyone? It is Lavenji Gaming here, and I am back with the Populous to be getting a beta tournament. We've made it all the way to the Losers' Finals now, playing as the Blue Tribe in the Chumara position. It is going to be Babo. And his opponent playing as the Red Tribe in the Red position. It's going to be none other than Lutil, who has fought his way here all the way through the Losers' Bracket after a very uh, early defeat to Nisi. And we're here on Pressure Point, our standard beta rules 1v1 variant, and I'm joined by Sub-Zero, also known as The Beginning on YouTube. How are you doing? Doing well. Looking forward to this. We can already see that uh, players are going towards their, their sides of the map. We've had a bit of a fighting in the middle there. Did a Shaman die that I missed there? Oh, it's Blue Abba Shaman. did die. Blue Shaman died. Okay, so they can quit within two minutes if they so choose. That could be huge. I'm trying to get the population draft up, but it's not working. Can't find the game on the pop RE. Excellent. That's, that's, that's a great start. I think so, Babo he probably quit. He's, he's Shaman's back now. He's converting men in his own base. Uh, but we, as we can see, we've got uh, Lutil taking men in the green base and, and in the middle as well. Population is going to be huge. If only I could find the game on Pop RE. I am not uh, not a player of Babo's caliber, but uh, I would be quitting if I was him. I've got to be honest. 140 seconds. You can still quit. You might be able to push and get these wildmen here, and there's obviously the wildmen here as well. That's what he could be thinking. It's definitely an unorthodox start for Babo. He's normally in a commanded position, normally gets the shaman kills off. Although against Keith, I think he sh he sh it was his shaman that died, wasn't it? It was a Keith Shaman. I can't remember. I got their names confused. Keith Shaman. It was Keith Shamans, but you got them confused. So you thought so it was confused. Keith doing that to Babo, and it was the other way around. So I can see what Babo's doing here. He has sacked Green Base because Green Base's mm. Braves get stuck here, and True. therefore the population True. isn't quite as useful. And he's gone straight for this side strip that you called out. Now, Lou has been very quick about filling in his towers, though. So this is how Ludil does play this. He builds up one strong base, but look at this. Warriors from blue straight out of here. Babo is sending the Warriors straight in. Red Shaman, where's the Red Shaman? Is he still on the other side of the map? He's going towards Babo's base with all those recently converted Braves. Babo's going to lose his own base here. And he's got his Fire Warriors here. They're attacking he's his shield. Babo's got Fire Warriors. You know, uh, just a couple of Fire Warriors are good good enough to hold off a tide of Braves. Thanks to the splash damage and the fact that Braves are affected by the Put them in the hooks. He's the got a Warrior here killing a lot. Sorry, the He's got a Warrior here killing a lot of those Braves. He's got his exactly. own fire this, here. This population trade is very efficient for Babo. And he's got his own fire warriors in the hill space as well. He needs to be careful of that tower. Yeah, tower's getting it taken down now by the, the warriors. Fire warriors in the base uh, are doing their job. If they stay alive, that's going to be huge. Babo's shaman is back now. There's been a bit of a fight here. Babo's like uh, chasing the red shaman, but... Yeah, so Babo's hoping to set up a core camp here. He wants to kill red shaman, push those fire warriors forward. Camp the core, keep the shaman out of the game, and use his shaman to convert for a victory. That seems to be his play for this so game. So at, at two minutes forty, we were sixty to red and fifty-one to yellow. We are now twenty-seven to yellow. Uh, twenty-seven to red, thirty-eight to yellow. I, actually, I don't even so, know what the teams are because the graph shows us red and yellow. I don't even know who's who, Lavenji. So okay, so the graphs, the graphs on Poppery show the bases that people are in, not the colours that they are playing as. So oh. because Babo is the is the blue tribe in the yellow position. The yellow line should be him. God, why do they do this to me? Why? Why are they doing this to us? <laughs> There's no reason for it. I don't know. I Chris, 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 I... Chris, Lutil, 15, Babo, 39. There you go. So it looks like Babo might be taking this in a very decisive such and demanding low victory. Populations. We've got Lutil now is going to run over the green base, get more of these wildmen that are just waiting for him. Whilst we've got uh, we've got Baba doing the same, but in blue base, and oh my god, yeah. there is about forty wildmen in blue base. Oh, and Baba's getting it all. He now is you got to remember that. some of these are going to get stuck and be essentially useless, as is all of these that Loot Hill's been picking up in the green base. If we compare bases now, though, uh, this has been a great trade. I didn't even think Babo was going to pull this off. It looked like it was more in Loot Hill's favor because he had forty Braves. Well, I'm saying forty. That could be wrong. Twenty to thirty Braves. Coming from uh, green to to blue, so I get distracted there by spectators speaking in chat. 
Um, it's throwing me off. Lutil is building in green base some towers, trying to build up there while the shaman's there defending as well. But we've got uh, blue in the middle, worshipping Armageddon. That's a bold move. We'll see how that pays off. I, I should hope he doesn't cast it. <laughs> we, we all know how that can go. It's like, yeah, you know, Babo's got control of blue base. Blue Hill's trying to build in the red base, which is interesting, but he's lost control of his main base. There's Fire Warriors dancing around his core. You know, he's basically playing with one Shaman life right now. You know, if I was Babo, I'd even charge some lights and just go specifically hunting the Shaman. Because you've got a pretty strong core camp there. Yeah. I was just in such a commander position now. He's going to start building, building out his own base. He's got the plans down. Uh, Lutil's just stuck in this green base. He's got no troops. He's only got Braves, Defense, and Towers. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see Lutil winning this now. I, I just don't know how, because Babel's also going to start building in the blue base as well. Yeah, Lutil's got hands up population dying. Green base is absolutely diabolical with this new pathfinding. Really do lose half the population to just the fact that they're uh, placed rather poorly. You can yeah, say that's base. placed poorly. Green base on its own is, is a bit naff in general in terms of wildman count, so if you can't even guess, you know, 10% of your wildman. Babo coming in now to get these braves. A, a, just an earthquake, just a random earthquake, he's got no way else to cast it, might as well cast it there, stop him from building. Just he's to gonna... show off how much mana he's got, uh, he yes, actually gets... Oh, oh, he's he's oh he got the blast! Shaman's down, is there a core camp over? As you were saying, there is a few... Uh, oh yeah, okay, these... Here's a question. It's called the GG. That's it. GG's over. That's it. 1 1. That was so quick. 6 minutes 58. Game's over. There we go. The Benji. And that was us saying that uh, Babo should uh, use the 2 minute surrender. Hang on our face. <laughs>